what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Undertale. And for this time, I guess we're starting out a bit different. We've got Toriel sitting on the main menu reading one of those books as well. And the music has changed up too. It feels so bright and wonderful. I got that confidence to continue this game. Let's get it. So welcome back anyway, guys, to another episode of Undertale. Now we are starting off just after entering uh, this snowy area. I can't remember exactly what it's called. One of the last things we saw as well was this dog. So let's talk more about this then. The dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Still waiting, almost a week later. In the last episode, we finally met with Sans and Papyrus. I think you guys were saying I was pronouncing his name a little bit wrong, so I guess I'm gonna work on that. A few people said to try and change Papyrus's voice, but I think you guys are forgetting the fact that my voice isn't the same as maybe someone else's who you've seen play this game, so I can't do everything that they do. It's a vice versa thing, to be honest. Like, I guess some voices are inevitably gonna be different, and like, I'm just trying to play this game, guys. I, I don't really, like, get all this stuff. I'm just trying to experience it myself. I mean, like, come on, guys. Like, Jack Subscriber said the same thing. Let me do my thing. What's up? Why don't you go ahead and like the video? Let's get it. Let's get this started anyway. So, another one of these, like, dog pens. On the floor inside is a box of Pomeranians instead of Pomeranians quite clearly, so that's great. Got my dude standing or rather sitting right here. That dog considers itself an artist, but it doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Slightly insulting, gonna be honest, but I'll leave you to your judgement. Yo, we've got more puzzles, probably laid out by Sans and Papyrus, right? Slide along these things then, so the puzzles do indeed continue. Hmm, now this might get tricky, so... Oh, so yeah, you can slide off and die. So we've got Sans's uh, what looks to be snow lump instead of anything else. It's a lump of snow with the word Sans written on it in a red marker. And this is quite clearly Papyrus's man looking as fabulous as ever. You know, I think we went at this thing wrong, dude. What about if we start from the middle, work our way around like this? This is how I think we could probably get this one done. Perhaps at least. Let me go up here, this way, over here. Yeah, this is our solution, my dude. Listen, Sans and Papyrus, keep them puzzles coming. I'll continually cl- Wait. I gotta do it the other way. Alright guys, this is like my my second try at this puzzle. Like, I didn't I didn't cut like eight minutes out of this right here. Very easy. Like anyone can solve that. Even a baby brain right there. Okay, that builds up like so. That's our way across. Deeper going into the forest right now. Or rather a short forest because we're already back out. And I had a snow hut on, definitely. So let's see. We've got a hut right here. Lots of snow mounds. Yo, can we enter this? What a tiny dog house. For a very, very small dogger, quite clearly. The mountain escape in the back there as well. That's a tail. And that's a dog head! Tail wagon already? Hey, bo- One of the sweetest sounding dogs ever. Can we pet the guy? Yo, don't judge a book by its cover. I think I just messed up. <laughs> it's the greater dog. Um, the music though, can we- Okay, yeah, let's get this done. Let's try act. So, greater dog, we can check, pet, play, beckon, ignore. We can, I guess, try and, like, play with the dog. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Okay, right, now we gotta dodge this. Dude, keep barking loud. Oh, that dude damage! Yo, I got a real bad feeling about this. Let's beckon. You call the greater dog. It bounces towards you, flicking slobber into your face. That's a good sign. Okay, so, wait until it's that color, then we move. At least we dodge that one. Greater dog is seeking affection. So, now we're going for the pets, right? Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. With all the armor too, it gets so comfortable it falls straight back asleep. What a sweetheart. Then yes. it wakes up. It is so excited. Wait, another round? Bro, dodge these, dodge these. Here we go, here we go. Okay, stick to the top for this one. There we go. So, now we probably got to play with the dude, right? See, we can. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests his head on you. Boy, another one of these barking things. Okay, we're here. Should be no problem. Now that at least I get this, Greater Dog wants some TLC. Time for that tender love and care. Now we're gonna pet him, right? As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Still with this ball crap, my dog! Pet capacity is something like 40%. Let's pet some more. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Okay, another one of these dodges. So, wait. Perfect. There we go. Just about making that one. Greater Dog is contented. Is it time? It is time. We spare him. We get 40 gold from that one. <laughs> look at that, hopping out the armor too. We get the face like, that's how you know you did good. And look at that, even reverse way in, he knows exactly how to pilot that armor. Again, it just proves that dogs are much more capable than humans. Now, what about if we would have went down this way here? Ooh, kind of looks like an alternate route. Holes in the mountain. Yo, we got things watching us from within. <laughs> Should I buy one this way? That literally startled me a little bit. A gift truck confronts you. It's just one, so we can see his health right there. All right, let's act. We can decorate, we can give him a gift, or undecorate. Uh, now, I'm not sure if he's happy with that, so first of all, let's give him a gift, let's see what he does. He refuses the gift. How do I know it's not a trick? Well, you should have accepted it to figure it out. Okay. Yo, I'm gonna die real quick in this zone. 
This ain't good. He laments his lack of hands. Uh, let's try decorating him. You add some googly eyes you found on the ground. Okay. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. Okay, so he can't see now. We gotta keep this dodge work up, else we're gonna die real quick right now. Gift truck stumbles blindly. Now we should probably undecorate, right? You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Gift truck eyes you with suspicion. Okay, now let's try and give him the gift, I guess. He refuses again? How do I know it's not a trick? We'll decorate him again, I guess. You add some googly eyes again. So it's the same thing all over. As long as we keep dodging this, it should be much of a problem. Maybe there's something else that we gotta do, though, to try and uh, get this done. Wait, presents right now. Yo, what the freak? Don't. I'm dead. I have to do everything I just did again. I wasted 15 minutes of progress. Okay, now this time after we beat the greater dog, instead we're gonna cross this lovely looking bridge right now. Awfully insecure, but hopefully just about safe enough to withstand our oh, weight. I mean, my dog was wearing all sorts of armor. It's sends some papyrus, of course. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of the deadly terror. Free. We got doggos, we got ball on chain, we got spears. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, and blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because uh, I, I am. Okay, well, good. About to do it. Okay, so yo, what's about to happen first? The doggo looks like it might break free. Whoa, what's the hold up? Hold up, what hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. Still doesn't do nothing. Doggo swinging freely. <laughs> that, uh, doesn't look very activated. It doesn't indeed. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat with the human. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am the skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Look at that. He just takes my away. Thank you, Papyrus. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you better go off screen, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the highest I can go consistently, guys, and I'm probably gonna lose my voice anyway. So, Sans standing there. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. You know, I think I'm gonna turn Sans into Dr. Sans. You know what I'm saying for my kindergarten people? If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. I think I pretty much got those on lockdown. So, blue attacks is you stay stationary, and then you don't get caught. Yo, welcome to Snowden. We finally made it. And yo, it's not looking very Snowden. <laughs> the sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Of course, we're gonna save that game real quick. So we got a shop for all the gold. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? We can buy, sell, talk, or exit. Say hello, what to do here, town history, or talk about my life. He definitely doesn't care. Let's learn a little bit about Snowden. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Coming from a rabbit. That's rich talking right there, I'm just saying. What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. So clearly they've got quite the name around here. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. What can we buy? So tough glove 50. We've got the manly bandana. Now listen, I'm about to spend all my cash. Armor, seven defense. It has abs on it. Yo, I'm sold. Give me that good stuff and the tough glove. Five attack. Now, I'm not trying to attack anyone, so I don't gotta worry too much about that. Let's see, what can we maybe sell? Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it looks where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Okay, listen, we're gonna go because this is awkward. Okay, hold on a second. So if I check my stats now, do I have to equip the armor? So let me go through this a second. So you go item, we go over then to the manly bandana, and we use it. You equipped the manly bandana. So, yo, I don't see it, but I'm gonna assume it's under my hairline. Wait, the tough glove too, I can use that as well. You equip the tough glove. I don't know if that's gonna give us more defense, but we'll keep that on as is. Let's check out the inn anyway. So this must be the sister. Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is A to G. No, yeah, skill God, Jesus. Please, no, no, I ain't no. coming back. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum XP. What's maximum XP? I think your mom's breaking the fourth wall, my guy. Let's check out what's in here. Yo, it's like a shortcut point. All the way across town. So much to look at. It's locked. Looking like it's got a reef on there too. Someone's not been home for a while, huh? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Well, I guess that makes a little bit more sense, but still, you might want to clean that at some point. It's locked from the inside. Someone could be working then in that case. Let's see what else we got across this town. It's looking like a store. It's the library. Open in the evenings too. 
couple of people reading some monsters, in fact. So let's get talking. That look in your eye. You are someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Can you tell? How about this one here? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Hey, that's not a bad job at all. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. Yeah. Look like you're uh, doing really good. Number one word person, okay. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Well, you should probably correct that unless that's clearly intentional. The library be- oh, Dude, I'm so stupid, man. My eyesight must be playing tricks on me. How about these two here? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern cruises. Drearing, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so be something something. Groby's here. Yo, my dude looking like I need a bear hug. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. Ah, it's politics. Thanks for the intel. Never coming back there again. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating his tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. We saw before. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. So that's the beginning of that. Yo, you're the new kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Is that what new kids wear? This is my little cinnamon just the cutest. Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> that lady over there, something about her disturbs me. What, is it because she's got like a pet animal? Aye. You know, an animal with a pet animal? Hold up, man. I gotta check out Groby's. Yo, this place bustling. Most of the foes we've seen before, and the music. You better watch where you sit down here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Yeah, I've already discovered that. Hey, it's the guy behind the stand. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach at least to me and take me for a walk, please. Yeah, definitely. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want some new drinks and- Oh, guys! <sighs> Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. I don't want to see the erase of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Bruh. Yo, this place fire, my guy. I think you're the cause right now. You see what I did there, guys? Because fire forehead. If you look, look closely, that's a fire. He's wearing glasses. He's very on fire, guys. Girl said that he'd better offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. How about these two guys here? I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with the fish. Okay. Bustling atmosphere, what can I say? Now the question comes, do we actually go north right here, or do we want to traverse east? I'm kind of feeling like I go north. There's more to the town. And what's this on the floor? Like a ladybug. Let's play monsters and humans. Uh, okay. Can knock on the door. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Wait, so that's why people don't answer the door to my knocks. Let's see what happens then. Ah, my patience rewards me. So what about if we knock one more time? Ah, <laughs> Dude, I keep going with this thing. Listen, he says the same thing. I'm not gonna stop until I go in. Bro, I'm not leaving. Listen, if you don't answer, my foot's going through your door. That's one in. Looking like a castle. What is this, like a production line? What is he doing? It's forming icicles and he's just throwing them literally into the dark abyss. What's the point in your job if you just cascade things back into the water? You see that? North a bit more. Yeah, things changing up. Torio, is she ringing? Hello, can I speak to- G Wait a second. It's this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number! The wrong number song. What? We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number! The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Wait, hang on, I gotta hear this with a tune. Okay. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Uh, wait, what? And they, they hung up. Guys, they hung up on me. What the freak? I can't do anything here. So this must be off limits, at least for now, so I may as well go back on myself, I guess. Oh wait, in the back there, you see the ice cube? Flowing down the stream, so perhaps we had to see that. What about if we follow it? Yo, what is this? Are we too cold? Maybe we should go back. Hmm... Think maybe we might freeze to death. Let's get it, let's find out, dude. So we go further and further in. Yeah, we're gonna freeze up, man. I may as well at least experience this to see if this is the wrong thing to do. Maybe it wasn't. Hold up, we might be the lampshade again. Oh, that's papyrus. He's hiding away in that mist right now. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the, the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your dots, dots, dots. No, 
No, this is all wrong! I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, and prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. What? Is that really what he wants? Yo, Papyrus blocks the way. I don't want to do this right now, but the music. I want to do this now. My accent Papyrus check, flirt or insult. Yo, now, what about I flirt with my guy? What? Flirting? Yes. So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Oh, well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. But I can make spaghetti. Oh, no! Meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date later, after I capture you! Okay, so what's the attacks here, dude? It's really <coughs> not, not that bad. I, I, I thought he was going to do more. Pyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Pyrus, we can fly, I guess, again. Oh, no! Let's date later, after I capture you! Um... But do I even need to play this right now? Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. We can't mercy him yet, so let's go back. He's still thinking about everything. Flirt again. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Okay, maybe we got a spare, right? So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Oh, we know all about this good stuff, man. Very intense, Papyrus. Very intimidating. Y you got me. Quite clearly. And look at Yo, what the freak? Blue attacks. You're blue now. Yeah, what does that mean? That's my attack. <laughs> Yo, this is picking up. Can't have mercy. Yo, no cuts right now. This music is dope. So flirt some more. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later after I can fight. So I gotta hop these, right? Easy stuff. Ooh, coming in with that bass snap. I can't jump that. He dabs a mint brand blishy cream behind his ear, or bishy cream, whatever the freak that is. Still can't spare. Let's act one more time. Flirt. It's not gonna work, so let's keep going with this. So what about if I hold up? You jump higher. Got it, got it, got it. So this one right now, we'll just jump as high as we possibly can. No problem. He dabs some more of that anime powder behind us here, so my dude is out here getting ready. Flirt again. Nothing we can do right here. Okay, thinking about the day again quite clearly. He's getting ready behind our back. He don't want to believe it, though. Oh, the last one here. So jump, jump. Woo! One more. Oh, man. Clearing all those. Let's see. He puts some more. He's putting different stuff every single time then. So maybe that's what we got to do. What right, we check him? Papyrus, he likes to say, yeah, as we've learned. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. I don't want to see what that's all about, my guy. Whoa. Okay. These are getting a bit sketchy, guys. Come on, come on. <laughs> he dabs some of that more attraction slime behind his ear this time. Try and mercy him again. I can almost taste my future popularity. Ooh, more of these dodging good stuff then. So maybe we've got to keep trying to spare. Then with this one, we just simply do Ooh, nothing. Papyrus dabs some more of that. He's putting yogurt behind his ears right now. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Ooh, man. Okay, now that wasn't called for Papyrus right there. Did not see that one coming. Please don't fail right now. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Yep, took long enough. Try and flare again? He's too busy fighting, so that's not going to be our solution. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti! <laughs> this is getting difficult right now. Okay, he whispers. <laughs> okay, let's try and have some mercy on him again. Okay, Undyne will be really proud of me. Oh boy, more of this and so. Nice long jump right there. Clearing all that good stuff. Take it back. Yo, I hit that when it was off screen. What a moron, dude. Come on right now. Be a shame if I died to this guy. He's running his bones. Maybe we should try and spare again. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Yeah, maybe. Well, we'll have to see about that. Probably best we stay towards the middle for this, I think. Okay. Ah! My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. I gotta keep this going. Dude, I'm a one-shot. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> so we had to lose him eventually. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we've got to keep battling with that thing until we can get through. It's too small to sleep on. That's a shame, I'm kind of tired. Unfortunately, it's just dried food. What about this here? It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodation have been provided. Yeah, <laughs> fully yours, Papyrus. It's a squeaky chew toy. Yo, he treating me like a dog right now. I see this little mouse hole here. And we can't interact with it, great. Is this really keeping us trapped within? Um. Uh, pap Papyrus, I've, I've got a bit of a thing about this, you see. It doesn't doesn't work. Wait, interesting. We came from the place that was locked uh, from inside before. We've opened that now. It's still locked. I wonder, yo, if that's Papyrus' gig right there, he's doing pretty good. So what about if we go this way one more time? Surely Papyrus is going to have questions about how we escaped. Something like that. See, the mist thickens. There he is again. This silhouetted figure of a particular character. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me! Hello, I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. 
Wait, wait, wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. So we're going to fight him again. Do we have to do this until we win, maybe? What if he blocks the way? What about if I just have Mercy straight away? Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Still talking about that date, huh? Yeah, this is progression, you see. It puts us straight as the blue heart here. So I guess we do more of the same thing. Or something like that. Still thinking about what to wear for his date. Uh, if we flirt, he's too busy fighting. So we've got to keep this going. But what about if I insult him? Hold up. He's too busy fighting to accept your insult. Let me see. And that will be really proud of me. So it's, again, a lot more of this. I'm not sure if there's much more we can do uh, to really get around this situation. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, I don't know if I'm progressing, but this is ramping up in difficulty. Holy crap. Jump now! So we wait a second. Uh, he's cackling. Uh, I'll spare him again. And dating might be kind of hard! So he's still talking about this whole dating ball crap. Pop that. Wait. Pop. Wait! Similar pattern then. What about... Yo, I didn't even have time to slow down right there. He's rattling his bones. Let's try and mercy again. After you're captured and sent away. So he's still talking about this whole capturing situation. I don't know how much more of this I'm going to be able to get through, though, guys. With just two health left, I don't know. He's trying hard to play it cool. It's not working. Ugh, who cares? Give up! Still talking about the dating, huh? Bro, I'm a one-shot. I don't know how much more of this we can do. Okay, we jump now. Can we get this with one HP? He's rattling his bones one more time. Let me try and flirt. Let me see. So it's about the fighting thing again. Give up or face my special attack. Still quite not seeing that, Papyrus, huh? See, oh, wait. Well, you may have cleverly escaped from jail before, but this time I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't even want to leave. <laughs> Yo, we're about to have a candlelit dinner though. I'm out. Papyrus. We're back for the third, and hopefully final time! Back again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me, in the dire hope that I would make you some... Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice! Oh, for God's sake. Back to fighting, guys. This is your last chance before my special attack! Don't die. Don't die on this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This might be it. Come on, land! Okay, now back over here. Here we go. We should be okay. We've got to survive this one. So he's rattling his bones. Here we go. Behold, my special... Dude, if the doggo gets me, I'm done. I'm done. What the heck? Wait, what's going on? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Oh, the dog's got the bone, of course. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. So what now, huh? A little bit awkward. Oh, well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Oh, God. You're, you're kidding me, right? It's an absolutely normal attack. Dude, I'm probably going to die to it now on my luck right now, being one HP. Yeah, I'm dead. So that's it. You are persistent, but it just won't work on me. I am the persistent test, and if you think you are the persistent tester, that is wrong. Grammatically wrong, because the correct form would be not as persistent test as the papyrus, the persistent test test. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. <laughs> Seeing that we saw the dog attack, have things changed up? Come on, Papyrus. Talk to us. You're back again? I finally realized the true reason why you just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way, but mostly I'm getting really tired of capturing you. We don't fight him. Uh, okay, I guess I'll accept my failure. So that's it, right? So what now? He's got his back turned to us. No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Garden! My friend wants to remain stagnant! What should you say? Let's be friends, what a loser. Let's be friends. R really? Do you want to be friends with me? Well then, I, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date. And I already managed to hit my friend. I already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make people happy was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then his monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is! Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, I excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right through the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Dude. So anyway, oh snap, this was Papyrus' house. Yo, I knew it was, hold up a second. So you came back to have that date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Where might that be? Walking straight over. Not the library. 
What would it be? The inn or Grillby's? Wait, hang on a second. Papyrus, do you even know where this special place is? It's his house. My house! He goes in. We follow shortly after. Yo, place looking chill. Yo, Papyrus, what about this fire behind this door? Can we just talk about this? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. <laughs> you moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Then you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Well, that was an interesting story. On the table, this is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. I don't think that's the rock's choice of food. I'm just saying, Papyrus. Welcome to Scenic, my house. Enjoy and take your time. So we get to explore this place. It's a joke book. Take a look. Is this literally where we're about to find all of Sans's gags right here? Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. Okay, you look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You'll look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Is, is that a, a joke placed by Sans? Again, it is- You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 G. Papyrus Lair us loot this dude's house. He don't even care. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for more. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. No, no, don't judge me. Yo, Papyrus is out there making the same like white noise jokes I'm always making. So we go over here. Yo, what's he doing? He's like watching me. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it. <laughs> my brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary thing. How absurd. Now, why the sink up there, though? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Yo. The dog has gone to all them bones again as well. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine. Do I really want to? Curses. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. He knew all about the doggo this whole time. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! He runs off to Sans's room. Well, no, he retreats to the corner. So, let's take a look up here. This is Papyrus's room, I guess. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Uh, hold up, I'm six years old. I want to see this room. The door is locked. Some fire music blazing out, though. Okay. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Yeah. All right, let's take a look inside this place anyway. Yo, room looking fire, my guy. Let's talk about this. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin with the date. Hold up, not just yet. I want to see around this room. Take your time. I'll wait for you. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Yeah, so sooner than yesterday. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a Goofy fun. We know who that is. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzles Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. You a fan of action figures? Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So it's Instead, I cruise while I snooze. Nice. There are no skeletons inside my closet except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Always. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. All right, well, I guess it's time for the date. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Let's get going with this good stuff. Uh, okay, dating start! Wait. The freak? Dating start! Let's do this. Here we are! On our date! I've actually never done this before, but don't worry! You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! That's kind of, kind of true, right? I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, I missed the... Dude, why do I keep doing this? Uh, okay, forget it. I think we're ready for step two. All right, no more expert. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Let's do it, man. R really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on a nice clothes to show you care. No, you're about to do that command? I know he's a fan of his cape and stuff. But wait a second. We're close. Clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Let's <laughs> say yes to that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, no, no. your dating power. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. So we've got some tension. 
Murphy. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. What? You've never dated, first of all. Let's go with this. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Dude. Yeah, what do you think of my style? I hate it, I love it. Compliment him again. No! no! <laughs> a genuine compliment! <laughs> we beat him by being good at dating. However, you don't truly really understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Dude, Detroit become human up in this bullcrap. Find his secret. Let's see here. The heart. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. How about the devilish smile you got? My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Let's open it, of course. What is that? Do you know what this is? No idea. <laughs> That's right! You have no idea that this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Let's eat it. Dude, you take a small bite. Your face reflexively crunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Dude, we're getting the day in Paris still going up. Hold up. And that's it. Why is he so disappointed in the fact that we've, like, got this perfect match going on? Papyrus, interesting. Human, it's so clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Yeah, don't you need skin to sweat though? Oh, shoot, human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feeling was blossomed forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I just feel the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Oh, wait, that's wrong. I can fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying feelings. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> wow. What a date this has been. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> and he's gone, just like that. And he's not coming back. Well, guys, I really thought something was going to come with that, but I guess not. Okay, well, with all that said and done, I think I'm going to traverse this way a little bit. We never got to see what was just past Papyrus, but the screen clouds up again. It was like a transition. And it leads on to a non-snowy land. Interesting. Do I want to go this far just yet? Maybe things have changed around the town before anything else. So I want to double check, dude. I don't want to mess up. No immediate changes around the town, so... Let's do this. Now, you see, one interesting thing is we saw the dude tossing the ice over into the water. So, it's flowing down a stream, you see? And it goes up there. This is all going somewhere. Yo, we're back. Look, more people from the town, I think. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Much like a parrot then. And of course, we got Sans behind the stand here. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs mean twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? I mean, we can go, or we can say I'm busy. First of all, let's save this quick. So, the sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Alright, let's save our game. But, I kind of want to take Sans upon his offer right now. Let's go. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Look at that, he walks away. Wait, Grillby's is the other way, right? Over here. I know a shortcut. Interesting. Back into the town? Look at that. That shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Okay, he's gonna announce this. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. So, yeah, he knows everyone around here. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. My guy. Here. Get comfy. Too bad. 
How many times is he about to play that same prank? Oops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Let's go for a burger, man. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby will have a double order of burger. He goes off and gets that for us. Go. He probably cooks that straight over his head, you know what I mean? Chefs and owners, they keep their secrets, man. So, what do you think of my brother? He's cool, I guess. Of course he's cool. You'd be very cool, too, if you wore the outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh, well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Returning with the burgers by the looks of things. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Let's go for it. Bon appetit. No! The cap falls off and all of the ketchup in the bowl pulls onto your food. Whoops. Uh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. And I'll take it, I guess. Yo, he's scratching the cheeks right there. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was me. Night, but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Yeah, maybe so, but we're learning more about Sa uh, Papyrus, I guess. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. What might that be? Yo, why is the light gone us now? Have you ever heard of Talking Flower? Ooh, so you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, the flower appears to whisper things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Interesting. More observations then. We should definitely look at all of the echo flowers we've seen. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. So what, that's it. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just... Now, Gooby, put it on my tab. That probably is the figure that he said though, right? That's my guess. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Can this dude literally just lit think not? So, yeah, we're starting to really get these characters down. Papyrus is the aspiring person who always seems to fall a little bit short. And Sans, he just accepts what he's given and just makes a joke out of all the scenarios, to be honest. So, let's save our game right there, and I think I'm going to call this video here. All right, then, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy this episode of Undertale. So, we've learned a lot more about the Skeleton Brothers. We even went on a date with Papyrus only to get rejected. However, it needs much sometimes, and we learn more about the land. And I feel like from the next episode on, I'm probably going to go further through that cave. Maybe things can get a little bit interesting that way. Either way, though, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.